guys, begin. Walk up right, up left, up right. Personally, I was never very keen on the ballet. You can't do it that way. Get down on your knees and do it. On your knees. Down. Jenkins, I'd almost forgotten. Ah, poor that easy. No doubt they deserve it. Who's that man? Jim Cameron. The best heavyweight we ever had till he got a bullet in his guts in the desert. Someone should tell him to put his hat on straight. A mother-in-law soldier. No, sir. You hate anyone. Don't think so, sir. What about the regimental sergeant major? Sir. <laughs> Have you no teeth, Corporal? Sir. Then smile, laddie. Even under King's regulations, that's allowed. According to the timetable, shouldn't they finish at 10? Our Dusty's mob's always 10 minutes behind the rest of us. That's a tradition goes back to Alamein, boy. <laughs> There's Greenwich time and summer time and army time and Dusty time. You'll get used to it, Colonel. I don't promise that I will, Major Miller. Oh! Colonel! Oh! Oh! It is 7 minutes past 10. Oh, yes, it's quite late, Colonel. It is. Three minutes to go, eh, Dusty? This period finishes at 10 o'clock. I like things to be exact. Sir. Anywhere. Tell me, are there any regulations as to what should be worn for band practice? Oh, no, you see, it's the piping that's important. Are there any regulations, Pipe Major? Well, the hair's foreign in the Glen Gary, sir, but during I the see. war... I see. Three, four, five men in Tam O'Shanter's improperly dressed. Take their heads. Sir. Colonel, there's a tradition here that... I'm all in favor of good traditions. I've always let the pipers wear pretty well what they please at band practice. Because you've let them wear what they like, Jock doesn't make it a tradition. Jimmy, I think we'd better tackle some of that paperwork. 